Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Queen Olive is going to cook. Cook, 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 cook. Yes, everybody, I'm going to, I'm cooking tonight. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Yes, I'm making some sweet and sour chicken and some shrimps. Yep. So, I'm going to turn around to the kitchen, as you can see me in the kitchen. Yes, good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night, everybody. Good night, Queen Olive in the kitchen. Queen Olive is making some sweet and sour chicken and making some shrimps, vegetable shrimps, I'm making in the kitchen tonight. So, I decided to cook with my divas tonight. So, I want all of these to go away. Yes, so you could see me. Yeah, I don't want to see the comment. You could make this, leave all the comment you want, but remember, clean comment, no dirty comment, no discrimination comment. Yes, Queen Olive in our kitchen. My tablet broke, so I have to use this phone tonight. So I'm in the kitchen, decided to make some chicken and shrimps. Yes, so here it is. Um, you all know. Yes. Here is my vegetable here, ready, for my shrimps and for my chicken, sweet and sour chicken and vegetable shrimps, okay? Here is my shrimps over here, this is my shrimps right there, and this is my chicken right there, and this is my vegetable right there, ready, and waiting to put in the pot. So first I have on the pot right here, this is a pot right here. With the oil and this next part with the oil one for the shrimps and one for the chicken what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some garlic in there some chopped garlic yes i love to cook in a lot of garlic so i put some chopped garlic in there some chopped garlic in there i have to turn off that light over there yeah put some chopped garlic in there so i didn't have the light was going around it oh it didn't start it yet yeah yeah, so I put some chopped garlic over here in the pan. Let me turn on my stove, my chopped garlic. Yeah. Some chopped. So I'm going to put in the, in there, in, in, in the pot right here. i got to put this thing down, my, my garlic get burned. Yes, everybody. Remember I said you could leave all your comment, or anything you want to do, but please to be very briefly with it. No disrespect. Yes, I'm in the kitchen here. So I have my garlic in here. Also I have my garlic over here. One for the shrimp and one for the chicken. So here I go. I'm going to put this chicken in this pot because the chicken one is going to be bigger. Yeah, put in the chicken. All what I do, I season chicken with only black pepper and seasoning salt I do the chicken with oh that's the reason why it's on it yeah so all that I do the chicken with black pepper and seasoning salt so I have the chicken here you know this chicken is a breast of the chicken so the breast of the chicken doesn't take a long time remember I wash my chicken clean my chicken and wash my chicken with salt remember Queen Olive only do the salt I do not do the vinegar I do not do the lime only my salt and my water I wash my chicken so I, I put it down with a little a little um salt so right garlic and some chicken it's not taking no more than 20 to 25 minutes for it to cook I do some sweet, sweet and sour chicken I am I want everybody to see so what I do I remove your comment and stuff so I'm not seeing the comment and when I see the comment it distract me also so while so what I do I remove the comment so I still know that you are all there divas and that this is Queen Olive in our kitchen remember Saturday coming is next week Saturday is Queen Olive party in our backyard yeah um this is the the part of the shrimp so what all my garlic there burned out. So I'm taking out all these burned garlic that I throw them away. Because I don't want my shrimps to have no burn in it. So I'm taking out all these gar garlic and throw them away. I don't have to put new garlic because the garlic already burned out in, in the oil. So I'm throwing away all these burned garlic because I hate to eat burned stuff. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some vegetable in here for the shrimp. Because you know the shrimps cook very quick. So I'm putting some vegetable in there for, for the shrimp. So with this is what I'm putting in there. I'm putting some celery. I'm putting some onion. I'm putting some sweet pepper. I'm putting some hot pepper. And I'm putting some sweet pepper again. I have three kinds of sweet pepper. And I'm putting some thyme in there. So the hard do the thyme. I'm going to take the leaf from the thyme and take all the leaf from the thyme and put it in there. It's already seasoned. So we just only parch in these. And then we're going to put the, the shrimps in there. While I'm over here stirring the pot with the chicken, it's not going to take long. And I already have my white rice on the fire. I didn't put say I was doing shrimp. But one of the grand grand, she doesn't eat meat. She said she doesn't eat meat. So I do her the favor by doing some shrimps for her. So right here, remember we have to make our cooking area have space. If we don't have space in our cooking area, we're going to spill. And I don't want nothing to spill. So I'm making all the space I could make to get space in my area that I could be able to do what I'm doing properly. So I put this in the fat in the pot. The, the shrimps are already seasoning there, the shrimps in the pot. Yeah, it's already seasoned. So we just given the the, 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 the the vegetable at least five minutes in the pot for it to catch a little color and, and at least toss. We don't want it to too cook. We don't want it cooked down. That's it's soft and saggy. Also, the chicken is here. It's not taking a long time because, you know, chicken, chicken can even cook in microwave too. Mm -hmm. If you want to cook your chicken in the microwave because we don't want it to too soft and saggy also. So I'm having the chicken here and the rice is in this fire over here in this pot over there cooking. So give me some more heat on the fire. Yes. Yes. So everything is up and ready. The rice, oh, this is so low. Oh, yeah, the rice is there on a low flame. So I'm here in my kitchen, Divas and Dan. This is Queen Olive in our kitchen. I am doing some, some sweet and sour chicken in my kitchen. Sweet and sour chicken, I have sweet pepper, I have string bean, and I have broccoli, and I have my chicken there cooking right now, and I'm making some vegetable shrimps. So we're gonna put some sweet and sour sauce in the chick in the arm, um, the shrimps also, because Grand Grand doesn't eat Grand Grand doesn't eat, um, she doesn't eat chicken, she don't eat beef, she don't eat pork. She will eat the cow food when I make the cow food soup. So I decided to make some sweet and sour chicken. She doesn't want that, so I am here with it now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of this pack of yellow, yellow seasoning in the, in the chicken to give it a, a color. I'm putting the uh, yellow, the, the, the Goya yellow sasan seasoning in my chicken to give it some color also it come with seasoning in it already so i don't want it to too salt so i am putting some of the seasoning here to give it a nice pretty pretty bouncy look color yeah the nice bouncy look color and i'm stirring it so the fire is stirring while i'm here with the, with the these thing here parching because I don't want it too soft and saggy. So I'm giving it five minutes in the pot. Stir it around in the pot for five minutes. And I'm going to put my shrimps in here. Remember people when you're cooking shrimps. If you cook the shrimps too much. Shrimps cook at least 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes. You take a shrimps to cook. Because if you cook it too much. It's going to get hard and eat. And it's not eating good. And if they're big they're going to get smaller. And hard so we have to know what how we cook in our stuff so I have everything in here which is the chicken right here I'm starting the chicken I do it also I forgot to tell you is a chicken breast I did I don't do the chicken parts the breast of the chicken they have it in the supermarket they cut it up already but you could buy it and cut it the way how you want it to cut or you could buy the cut one because we don't want it for too thin in a sense I didn't want it to too thin and the one that they have in there was too thin yeah. And when you're cooking your 
food you want to know if your food is tasting good. That's you could add more ingredient to your food. You take up your spoon like this and you do like this. And you taste it and see what it wants. This is tasting positively good. Remember Queen Ali said, when you're cooking, always have a white rag to wipe your hand. We don't want to work to this the pipe every minute. So the chicken is going good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the shrimps in. I do not want the shrimp, my onion and my and my vegetable to cook down. So here I'm gonna put the shrimps in now and I'm gonna cover it and let it take it only the time and cook down while I'm gonna put my sweet and sour sauce and also put the string bean and the broccoli in there. So, and I, you, you can see I do the sweet pepper. I do them very big because we want it to eat the sweet pepper. We want it to taste the sweetness and the relish from the sweet pepper. So I don't do it, I don't do it um, small. So, I can do so here I have the shrimps in the, in the pot. So I'm paying attention to the shrimps over here now because I'm gonna taste the shrimps now to see if everything is good in it because remember I season it. We don't have to put no water in there because the shrimps are already make water because it's frozen shrimps are by. And I'm making for who just coming in, I am making sweet and sour chicken. And the chicken is very easy, easy to cook. You can see the chicken here already. You can see the chicken here. I cut the chicken already. It's easy, 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 easy like this morning. Yes, I am not looking at the comment because I disabled the comment because I wanted you to see in my kitchen because my tablet break. So, here's the chicken. You do not have to put, have the chicken cooking for three, four, five hours. This only here, you just leave for um, like eight minutes. And it's ready because you have eaten chicken and it's already cooked. So, I'm going to put my vegetable in. And I'm gonna put my sweet and sour sauce and I'm gonna cover it down, make it make it own little water instead of put water in there. So here I'm going with it. The chicken is already making its progress over there. So I'm paying attention right now to the shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, this one tastes positive. Tastes positively good. So what I'm going to do over there now, I'm going to put the vegetable in the chicken. I'm going to put the vegetable in the chicken and put my sweet and sour sauce also in the chicken and we're going to get it ready. It doesn't take no more than 15 to 20 minutes for all what I'm cooking right here to ready because everything is already pre-cooked. So here I'm putting all these vegetables in there. We want our vegetables to eat nice and chunky we don't want to eat nothing soft and saggy we want to taste the vegetable in our mouth so i'm not putting i'm not i don't want him to cook down a lot right so here i'm going sorry so hold the phone over there because i cannot hold the phone in my hand and do what i'm doing so i'm going to put my string bean and my broccoli this is some string bean some string bean over here again, and some broccoli over there, some broccoli and some broccoli. So there we go. So what I do, I remove all these containers from here, so I could be able to get space, that I could be able to move my hand, and I could hold the mat. Remember when you're cooking, do not hold your pot with a, hot, a, co um, a wet rug. If you hold your pot with a wet rug, you're going to get burned. You hold your pot with a cold with, with a dry rub, okay? So here I'm going now. So it is tasting positively nice to me right now. I don't think I don't want nothing more. I'm just gonna cover it down and let this simmer and it's gonna stay there for less, at least five more minutes and I'm through. Yeah, because we are not cooking, we are not cooking cow food, we are not cooking axe tail, we are not cooking all them hard food. This is easy cooked meal. Remember, I tell you, when I'm doing an easy cooked meal, I'll cook for you, for you to see. And when I'm finished cooking my hard cooking processed food, then I will show it, I will display it on my countertop that you all could see. So I know a lot of you people cook um, sweet and sour chicken. 
probably you cook it the way I cook it, you cook it a different other way. There's many ways in cooking your food. You cook your food how you want to cook it. Queen Olive cook her food how she want. So I'm, I'm about to throw the sauce in there for the chicken now. Yeah, this is the sauce. This is the sauce that I put in the chicken. So I'm gonna stir it down. I wonder if I get everything out of the sauce and throw a little water in it. Yeah, I throw a little water to get everything out of the bottle because I need all my sauce to be out of my bottle. Yes, so there I go. I'm going to start this pot over here, which is the chicken pot. Remember, there was a dry rod. It has two pots on the fire, so I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah? So there I go with my vegetable, my chicken. And I'm stirring everything. You see, onion, they are big and chunky. Everything you cut big and chunky and put it there. And we'll cook it down for the next five minutes with the lid on the pot. So I'm stirring everything together. Everything goes together and stirring. So, it's right there. I'm gonna cover it. There you go. Cover it now. That's not the cover, where's the cover? So, this is the cover for this one, yeah. And this is the shrimps. I'm gonna cover it. Stir it, everything together, and I'm going to stir it. Yeah, you can see I could put some of the um the sasan in the shrimps, though I don't want it in there. I'm just cooking it plain, just like it is, and it's going to be there for another five to eight minutes, and then we off and ready, and the rice is there cooking. Yeah. Oh, um, let me get my glasses on. Yeah. It said sweet and sour sauce dipping. This is what I used to put in there. The sweet and sour sauce. They have many, many more, but this is the one that I choose to use. So, divas and then, when you decide to do a change, in the kitchen, you do anything you want to do. You want to put yam in your food, dumpling in your meat, or whatsoever. How you choose to cook, you cook so long as it is positive and it's not poison. But I'm making some sweet and sour chicken. And some shrimps right here, and we are think when we are on the verge for our meat to finish, and I'm gonna do a serving with the rice to let you all see how it comes out. Yeah. So everybody knows about my parties coming up on August the 31st, that is next week Saturday, it's going down right here at 177 Elton Street. I do not use a rice cooker to cook because I can cook my, my rice very good. So I don't use a rice cooker, I just cook in my pot. I put a little bit of water and if I see where it needs more water, I put more water. Because this pot I have, this pot that I have, they spray a lot of water. Yes, so they're there simmering down and this there simmering down. So we are making some sweet and sour chicken and some vegetable shrimps we are here cooking with some white rice tonight for my dinner so all who get take your lovely time out to watch queen olive cook thank you all thank you i used to do this cooking you know queen olive likes to wash the things while she uses them so right now i'm here washing out these things so when i finish i don't have a lot of stuff to do as soon as you finish use one container wash the container and put it away so you always have space in your kitchen <coughs> Yes, everybody, Queen Olive decided to do a little cooking today. Share my dinner, what I'm doing today for my dinner with all my viewers and my dad. I have prepared everything before I started to cook. So when I'm cooking, it's made cooking much more easier for me. Yeah. So, right now, on the fire, we have over here this pot is rice, this is chicken, and this is shrimps. And we're cooking it down. And when we finish cooking, I'm going to display it on my countertop here. So I'm going to get my countertop clean. Remember, people, I tell you, always have your countertop clean where you're going to put your food. 
always have your plate looking very good, positive. Do not throw the food like your thing. The presentation is what count. Um, last week, someone come here and they was eating, and the guy said, if even the food was nice, wish the food was good. Is a presentation how I I make the plate for him with the food, and he did enjoy the food. We have to learn. I some people putting up some food, putting up some things. I don't know if they're doing it out of spite or they're doing out or they're making a joke with what they're doing. But some of those food that I see they put up, it's not need to put on the computer. So everybody, Queen Olive in her kitchen, and that's the kitchen there. That's my stove over there, and this cooking area must keep keep clean at all time. Your cooking area must always clean. You're not supposed to have no dirty this, no dirty <coughs> batter on. Remember, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we use our refrigerator very often when we are cooking. So always has a um, rug to wipe the hand of it to get rid of bacteria. So I'm going to go back and look in my pot and see what's going on. Yeah. I'm going to see what's going on. So... The food is, the chicken, remember I tell you, this chicken is cooked and cooked and cooked real good and tender and soft because the breast, you don't put the breast of the chicken too much. You could throw a can of um, pineapple in there if you want, but my grandchildren, you don't eat pineapple also. Me, because the pineapple, you know, when you're going up in age, we have different, different things going on when we're going through menopause. And you know, I'm 61, so you know, I'm in menopause and womanopause and all kinds of pause. So I have to be careful with what I eat, what's bothering me. So everything is here, get it done and ready, ready to put a display. And you're going to see what I have here cooking, right? So I'm boiling this down to make it a nice gravy. This already make a lovely gravy here already. So this part here could turn off right now with chicken. The shrimps are making for it to make a gravy. So I'm gonna take two plates. I'm ready. These two plates to put the food in and show you what I do today. Today in the kitchen. Remember, each time we take a plate from out of our closet, we wash the plate. You can put them in there. We don't know what may happen. I don't have no bugs, but you don't know. People live at the top. They could stump, and anything could drop down in here. So. At all time, we keep our plate clean when we're going to share our plate to prevent from getting anything in there. So, here I go with the plate. So, one is going to have chicken and one is going to have shrimps. And that's what Olive Queen Olive do today. Some cooking for our household, for my children, my grandchildren, and myself. Remember, every food that I cook, I eat my food. So... My food has to be positive, clean, and good. Cleansiness is next to godliness. Anything you do on anything you're cooking, you cook it from your heart. Anything you're you're doing, you do it very clean. Don't do it because don't don't worry about the nails that I have on. I have to use the if I don't have these nails, my hand would look old and chappity. So I have to keep this nail to prevent my cuticles them from from spoiling because I cook a lot of food, but my hands always clean and also when I'm going to do my meat and stuff I use my gloves because I don't want my hand to get old and choppy. A lady leave all the way from upstate to come to look for me and the first thing she comes she shake my hand. I said can I shake your hand again Miss Oliver? I said yes. So when she shake my hand she said I never see somebody in water so much and your hand are so soft because I use my gloves because I don't want my hand to get old and choppy. So when you're cooking you buy your gloves and you use your gloves and you cook and you cook your food positive positively clean so i'm going to show show you all take off all the cover from the hat and i'm going to show you what is going on what is going on yep show you what is going on in my kitchen Yep. My kitchen is a blessed kitchen where a lot of food cooks. A lot of food cooks every day. And people all over likes my cooking because my cooking is clean and it's comfortable. 
come around me. Some, some lady comes around me this weekend. She didn't want to go home because she said she feels so homely. So they are going to use my my camera now to show you what is going on. Right over there, that's the white rice over there. There is that's the white rice. Here is the shrimps. That's the shrimps right there. Yes. With the vegetables and thing in there. That's the shrimps. And this is the sweet and sour chicken. Look at it, everybody. I taste it and it tastes positive. It tastes nice to me. I enjoyed it. And people, the reason why I didn't I take away the comment, I don't see no comment. I don't know what is going on later on. I look at it because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. You see, my kitchen is clean, my stove is clean, and as soon as you finish, please, people, remember to clean your stove. And remember, when you're cooking, your garbage must stay open. You don't want to keep opening garbage. You're going to throw something in there, and you have to be washing your hand. That's where you get arthritis, and then you're old and choppy. So your garbage is always open, and over here, it's always clean. Yes? So I'm going to turn off this fire now. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to share two plates and let you all see what Queen Olive was doing. Well, okay. Yes. And that is Queen Olive party. My party, yes, my party coming up on the 31st of August. All divas and Dan who's living in my neighborhood or living in Brooklyn, Bronx, Connecticut, wherever you're at, and you want to come to my party, it is you are free to come. It's just ten dollars to contribute to come in the party. The drink will be on sale, but you um, the food is free. It's on me. So you come to my party, have fun and enjoy yourself. You will get a taste of my cooking. That's my party right there. It's gonna be the thirty first of August. You all could take a snap at the picture of the, of it. If anyone interested to come, if you want to send me, um, you're not going to come and you say, well, okay, I'm not going to come, but Miss Olive, I'm going to send you something because, you know, you're always showing us to cook. You're always doing this. We're going to send you our your payment, your contribution you want to do or whatever you call it. You're free to do it, okay? So... Oh, yes, this is Queen Olive in my kitchen. You know what keep me so young? I've always been smiling. Always been smiling. That is what keep me young. Always smiling. Somebody say something to me, I smile. I refuse to keep hatred in my heart. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to share some rice with some of the sweet and sour chicken. Yeah. So what I have in sweet and sour chicken, I have sweet pepper, I have broccoli, and I have string bean, and I have a lot of sweet pepper in there, onion, and the chicken. So I'm going to share a little bit right here and let you see what I was doing in the kitchen. Yeah? So, people, I still do my cooking, but because sometimes I'm so busy, I forgot about as soon as I finish, there's someone called for food. So I didn't have the time to display, but I'm trying my best this week to do all my display to let you all see. And feel free, anyone who I was cooking and didn't get where I was cooking, get to, get to it, you can call me and I will tell you how to go about doing it. Remember, presentation is the best. You have to always keep your plate clean at all time. Your plate supposed to be clean. All the air of your plate. I see people cooking and showing their food. And their food is a hot mess. But who is me to tell them that their food is not looking good? No. If they call me and say, Miss Olive, did you see the food? I said, yes, I did. But the food not looking. The presentation of the food weren't looking good. So you have to step up and you step up with what you're doing. So there I'm going to go. Yep. That's the chicken right there. 
That's the chicken right there. Look at it. Look at it. Yep. And this is the shrimps right here. Yeah, I don't have no tomato in there. I have sweet pepper. I have string bean. And I have, come! I have string bean, sweet pepper, and those big chunks of onion I have in there. And that's what I do. My little cooking as usual. So anybody feel free. You want to know how to cook it. Yes, so... <laughs> Yes, so um, remember again, everybody, Divas and Dan. Divas and Dan, remember, this is Queen Olive, remember. A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. If even you don't know how to cook, you have to take time out and learn to cook. Don't every day go to the shop and buy food. Learn to cook that you could hold that man in your house. He's going to go there and go at the restaurant. He's going to start falling in love with the cook. Are you going to fall in love with the server? So when you have your wife or your husband learn to do something, but leave boil some water, boil some rice, if you can't boil it. Some people put oil in rice, they put butter and salt. Some people don't put salt, um, water alone and boil rice and strain it. We have to learn to do something and that's how we could hold our husband. It's not down there alone he's going to hold him. Because if he's not getting good food, he's going to lie down there and he's going to go out there and cheat. So we don't want our husband to cheat. So we have to learn to cook and have food and keep a clean house, a clean bed. A clean bed, keep a bathroom, your kitchen, everywhere clean at all times. We have to clean our bed. So remember, Divas and Dan, this is Queen Olive. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York. And my address is 177 Elton Street between Fulton and Atlantic. That's where the party is going down next week, Saturday. So people may not want to hear about it. I go say, they never hear when the party I go, and they never remember it. I don't want no excuse. If you don't come to my party, please, everybody, don't give me no excuse. And I'm not upset with you or not mad with you. Because definitely, I just know you over the internet. If you want to know me personally, personally and know who I am then you could come out to my party and then you will see me I do a lot of greet and meet a lot of people don't come but it's okay because you don't have to come but still if you have a party invite me I'll come to your party if I'm in the area and I feel like ghost or party I will come so divas and done and everybody may I tell you no goodbye my love you no and remember the party Yeah, remember the party, it is going down at 177 Elton Street, Brooklyn. If you're driving, anybody who's coming to the party and driving, let me know. Call me and let me know because we're going to reserve some parking for people who's coming. So let me know that the park it, don't parking donation is going to be a small amount, like $10 until you're ready to go. So anybody who driving, you can let me know so we could just reserve that parking lot that they have around here. So yes, once again, this is my nice clean place, my clean kitchen, my clean bathroom. Everything around is clean because I like to have a clean place. I say a way to a man's heart is stream stomach. If your heart not clean and your food not clean, the man is going to run. You don't care how much you have the pretty nice Vaginas can't do one, say. I know the tight tight. I know can't cook, I know can't clean the man. I go run. I have to keep on the man by learn to cook. And this is what Queen Olive do today is some shrimps. Here's the pot over here. Some shrimps, that was my thing making noise. And some rice over there. And here is a chicken. So God bless each and every one who take your lovely time out from your work or your sleep or whatsoever you're doing to watch me. If there's anything that you see, should there's enough more thing could put in the sweet and sour chicken. Well, I put that's what I want in there. So enjoy watching me and enjoy go to learn to cook it or cook your food and put it up on the computer. And remember, presentation is one of the things that count. Let it look very representable. God bless you all. Remember the kids is our blessed children that God made. God gave us our beautiful home and we make our children. We have to love them and we have to care for them. Do not treat your children like they are stepchildren. And do not treat stepchildren bad because one of these days we are going to want our kid to be around. And they are not going to be around because of the treatment we give them. So treat the children good. School is going to open. Let everybody get their children's school things ready 
swag shoes everything and big up yourself spice you'll do a very tremendous job and i see you get very teary by crying because everybody didn't get you know when it's come to free giving away everybody gonna come and some of the people taking getting so much they go when you go back downtown you're gonna see them have the same Anything selling because that's how people stay they like to take things but you have done a very good job and god bless you enough love and respect me send out to you and to all the other babas remember it is time if you could help in your community it is good help big up to all the american big, big up to all the america we say god bless america canadian big up on yourself england people big up on yourself Big up all the people you're on the whole entire Canadian English. Big up on yourself because there's one love. There's anybody has a birthday, happy birthday. Anyone have a six, speedy recovery. Anybody has a dead, my condolence. Big, big up and shout out to each and everyone. Big up to everyone who on my page, who never be on my page. The first time you be on my page. I do a lot of cooking, but since of this summer here, I got a lot of catering, so it's kind of pulling me back, and I cannot do a lot of cooking while I'm um, live show when I'm doing cooking, because I don't want to spoil my food, because the first time your food spoil, everybody's going to walk away. So one love, and joy, and happiness. Remember, said, anything you do, you do it with love. You see, my heart is a heart of gold. You see, my heart is a heart with love, and anything I do, and anything I say, I say it with love what keep me looking young and fresh always smiling and keep smile keep the wrinkles away so please smile and good smile no fake smile one love big up on yourself to all my my divas and then i haven't called in no name today but big up all my divas i love you all one love bye bye